How to be saved from hell. Let's define first what is hell. Hell is complete, conscious, and eternal separation from gods. People think of hell as a raging lake of fire, which is a biblical picture. Hell is a place where the soul suffers extreme torment as a result of being separated from God's blessings. If a person rejects God throughout his or her life, never repenting and submitting to Him in repentance, he or she will spend eternity without God after death. How you can be saved from hell. Admit, acknowledge and accept the following. Admit that you're a sinner. And that you have broken God's law. Every person ever born on the face of this earth has fallen short of God's requirement, making us all sinners. Ecclesiastes 7:20. For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good, and sinneth not. Romans 3:10. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3:23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. James 2:10. Whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. 1 John 1 8, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Admit that there's a penalty for sin. Romans 6 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Psalms 145 20, The Lord preserveth all them that love Him, but all the wicked will He destroy. Matthew 25 46, And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Ezekiel 18:20 The soul that sinneth it shall die. James 1:15 And sin when it is finished bringeth forth death. Romans 5:12 Wherefore as by one man sin entered into the world and death by sin and so death passed upon all men for that all have sinned. Accept the fact that you're on the road to hell. Matthew 10:28 And fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Matthew 25:41 Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Revelation 21:8 But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Revelation 20:15 And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Admit that you cannot save yourself. Ephesians 2:8-9 For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Titus 3:5 Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. Romans 3:20 Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. Galatians 2:16 Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Believe that Christ is Lord. Believe with all your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Accept the fact Christ died and paid for your sins on the cross and God loves you more than you love yourself, and that He wants to save you from hell. Romans 5 8, But God commendeth His love toward us, in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. John 3 16, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Isaiah 53 5, He was wounded for our transgressions, He was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. John 14 6, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Confess you're a sinner. And that Jesus is the Son of God. Repent of your sin and commit your life to him. Call on the name of the Lord. Romans 10 9, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10:13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 14:11. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. 1 John 1 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In light of these facts, repent of your sins, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and ask Him to come into your heart and save you right now. Romans 10 9, 
that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Here's the sinner's prayer for salvation. If you are willing to trust Christ as your Lord and Savior, please pray the salvation prayer. Dear God in heaven, I admit that I am a sinner, and I acknowledge that I cannot save myself. I am deeply sorry for my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Right now, I believe with all my heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins, to deliver me from the damnation of hell. I am ready to trust you as my Lord and Savior, and accept your gift of salvation which is eternal life. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul. Help me to turn away from my sins. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you, and to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Now that you are saved, you are commanded to share the gospel to your family, friends, loved ones and to other people, and there is no excuse for not doing so. See Matthew 28 19-20. In addition to praying and sharing your faith, you must live godly Christian lives in front of your friends and family members so that they can see the change God has made in you. 1 Peter 3 1-2. Finally, you must entrust your loved one's salvation to God. People are saved by God's power and grace, not by our own efforts. We can only pray for them, witness to them, and live the Christian life in their presence. Thank you for watching Graciana YouTube channel. Kindly hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. Please don't forget to like, comment and share the video.